Shakib Al Hassan once again proved why he is the best all-rounder in the world. Pakistan found a young crop of players for the coming years, and West Indies discovered in Cottrell a soldier who matched up to lead their bowling lineup. Six teams may be leaving the World Cup now, but not empty-handed. Some valuable lessons learned: players they want to discard, or ones that they'd want to hold on to for a brighter future in ODIs, like these five. First up is the all-round star Shakib Al Hassan, who hadn't played an international game in five months, but put his foot down and got himself promoted to the number three spot in Bangladesh's batting order. And then, then the record stumbled. The 32-year-old became the first player at this World Cup and only the third overall to cross 600 runs in a single edition. He finished the group stage as the third highest run getter, having smashed two centuries and five half centuries. And that's not even all. Shakib the bowler picked up 11 scalps in the tournament, becoming the first cricketer to score over 500 runs and pick up 10 wickets in a World Cup. Talking about records, and there was a 19-year-old bowler at this World Cup who, despite being dropped mid-tournament, managed to finish as Pakistan's second-highest wicket-taker and also enter his name in the cricket archives. Shaheen Shah Afridi, the young bowler who made his debut only in September last year, was brought in for Pakistan's fourth league match against Australia, but after the turning with 2 for 70, was again dropped for the game against India. He was then brought back for Pakistan's last four matches, returned with 1 for 54, 3 for 28, 4 for 47, and capped off Pakistan's campaign by becoming the youngest ever to take a World Cup fifer. His 6 for 35 against Bangladesh is the best ODI figures at Lords and also the best by a Pakistani in World Cup matches. And while we're on the topic of finishing, let's talk about one of the best death bowlers in the group stage of the tournament, Mustafizur Rahman, the injury-prone medium-fast pacer who had been barred by his board from playing in T20 leagues around the world last year, didn't have the best of starts to the World Cup, going wicketless against New Zealand and returning with 1 for 75 against England. Slowly but surely, the 23-year-old found his fizz and finished the tournament with back-to-back -back five wicket hauls, first against India and then Pakistan. The second highest wicket taker in the league stage, 12 of Mustafizur's 20 wickets came in the last five overs of the game. And now for the bowler who gave Imran Tahir some stiff competition for the best celebration, Sheldon Cottrell, the West Indies pacer, also a soldier in the Jamaican Defence Force, came into the spotlight at this World Cup, not just because of his salute after every wicket, but also for his performance on the field. The 29-year-old was West Indies' highest wicket-taker in this World Cup, finishing with 12 scalps in 9 games. Against New Zealand, he returned with 4 for 56, removing both their openers for Golden Ducks in the first over of the game. He also dismissed Pandya and Shami in the same over to help restrict India. Besides his bowling, Cottrell's fielding also caught the eye. His blinder at the boundary to dismiss Steve Smith and the lightning-fast run out of the Tamim Iqbal could well win some awards. And now for the last, but definitely not the least, Babar Azam. Pakistan's number three batsman Babar broke a 27-year-old record as he accumulated 474 runs in eight games, the highest by a Pakistan cricketer at a single edition of the World Cup. His 69 against South Africa was just a teaser of what was a record-breaking century against New Zealand at Birmingham. Chasing 237 for 6, both the openers had been dismissed cheaply when Babar hit 101, Pakistan's first World Cup done by a non-opening batsman since 1987 and led his team to victory. During that knock, he also surpassed his idol Virat Kohli to become the second fastest to 3,000 ODI runs. In the final league match when Pakistan needed a massive score to keep themselves in the hunt for a semi-final spot, Babar stepped up once again, hitting a 96 of 98 balls but it wasn't enough. Whose impressive performances will you miss in the playoffs of the World Cup? Tell us in the comments section below.